This identification is on Clara Barton. Four to seven sentences on this one. Clara Barton was born in 1821 and died in 1912. She would become a very famous nurse in U.S. history. She was born in Oxford, Massachusetts. She became interested in medicine as a child after helping her brother who had been uh, hurt in an accident. When she uh, grew up, she became uh, involved in temporary jobs. She was a teacher for a while and a patent clerk. But when the Civil War began, Clara decided to get involved in helping soldiers. She did this on her own and without um, uh, any encouragement from the government, but she did receive encouragement from her family and moral support of her father. So uh, uh, during the Civil War, um, at, when it was at its worst, um, Clara just decided to go to the battlefront and packed up a wagon with medical, su medical supplies and, and just did so on her own. Um, she also contacted other uh, um, a variety of charity groups, hoping to uh, hoping to get some uh, supplies, which she was successful at. Um, she began to bring bandages, food, clothing, uh, by her wagon uh, right up to the front uh, where the worst of the fighting was going on. There was some military um, medical outposts there too, but not uh, not enough to handle um, all of the injuries that were going on uh, in, in, during the war. So she just set up a tent and basically the military just ignored what she was doing. Um, she did send a few letters to the local quartermaster, um, to President Lincoln and to some generals and eventually did get official permission to do what she had already been doing. So at the front, um, there, there were very many tents there uh, for military reasons, for medical reasons, for uh, uh, meeting, uh, meetings among different um, uh, commanding officers, uh, and, and then hospital tents. Uh, and, and Clara uh, set up a tent um, and, and volunteered and was very active in, in helping wounded, uh, wounded soldiers uh, at the front. Um, she even handled uh, a few cases of uh, prisoners and, and, and rebels or southern soldiers who had been injured. Um, during, during the war she, and during this uh, time she was a nurse, she, she actually was grazed by a bullet and it put a hole in her dress. And, um, and that became well known at the time uh, when the newspapers started to hear about her. And she became famous uh, and known as the Angel of the Battlefield. She continued in her efforts um, and fought um, uh, for medical care for um, wounded soldiers. Um, but more than anything, she, she was active and set an example uh, in helping um, the wounded um, throughout the war and certainly helped um, encourage those who, who needed medical care. Um, at a time when being uh, a nurse was was a very difficult um, thing to to be, uh, kind of reminiscent of even these modern times with with the situations that medical personnel are currently in. So this is a quote of hers, um, in which she states, "I may be compelled to face danger, but never fear it." And while our soldiers can stand and fight, I can stand and feed and nurse them. Uh, so a number of her uh, memorable quotes. After the war, uh, she visited um, Europe and she uh, attended some international Red Cross meetings. And, and she made speeches and listened to speeches about health care and and, and uh, help of, of injured um, people in war, uh, as well as 
other types of disasters in, in, in the uh, really the emergence of the Red Cross. Uh, when she came back to the United States, she became leader of the American Red Cross, uh, began the American Red Cross, and which became a very important organization even up until this day and even currently. So she was the founder of the American Red Cross, and, and that is another uh, important part of her legacy. Um, the Red Cross, which deals with missing persons, um, earthquakes, tornadoes, and many uh, large situations in which many people are in need, um, the Red Cross uh, is very much a part of. And uh, certainly even today, um, with the crises that are going on in the world, the Red Cross is a very important organization, and, and, and her legacy is the, find, the founding of the American Red Cross. Uh, okay, so now complete this identification on Clara Barton.